in Heathcote Community Board of the 7th of October. Yep. Uh, so on page 101, we have the proposed prohibited times on roads, walls and industrial area. Um, just to note, um, yeah, that, that, that Mary Muller and um, Kefili Place do need to be taken out of there. Um, and, and in line with what Sarah uh, Templeton said, that we also requested a memorandum to be provided by staff after 12 months on the effectiveness of the prohibition in addressing antisocial road behaviour. If we're going to abridge people's rights of movement, fundamental human rights, then we need to know that, um, that those measures are working to curb the problem. And it is a serious problem. I've gone and observed uh, the problem um, in particular. It's a safety issue for workers uh, in the area, truck drivers in particular, but also don't forget that there's a giant tank farm there so it's not a particularly safe place to be racing cars. So the the two that you took out, Mary Muller and Carefully, is that mm. it? Carefully? That's yeah, and it's also, yeah, and it also needs to be the west side only, uh, right. as, you, as you have up there. Because they're in the other other. Because they're in Hackley Ferry Mead. Yeah, and they've already dealt with them. Okay, so we'll just delete those two, 7.2, 7.23. Yep. Yes. Okay, with that change, um, any other discussion? Have we moved it? No. We're going to move Tim, seconded Phil. I'll put that. Those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Carried. And part B, which means the rest of the report. Um, I, I only just to draw attention to the good work that uh, Helene Mountner and uh, Melanie Coker are doing on the Heathcote River, um, and they're going regular communications to community groups around um, the river. And um, you know, the Heathcote's a bit of a poorer cousin of the Avon, um, and um, but our board is working hard to ensure that it gets the attention that it needs. That's excellent because so is the whole council aligning to make sure that we actually clean up the Heathcote because you're quite right, it doesn't look good. <laughs> It looks disgusting, actually, in parts. Yep. And so long-term project, um, mm. because there is a lot that needs to be happening. So the council is aligning with that. Um, Phil's committee has been meeting with ECAN. Pauline Zone Committee has been working on it. And we've been trying to bring the Heathcote into both capital work programme and um, various other things that Yanni's been... And any, any opportunity to um, upgrade the stormwater infrastructure yes. that's going into the river would we know. Uh, should be taken, if possible. I know that there's huge financial constraints. We, we know that. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, thank you. So that's Part B and Part C. Move Tim, second is Phil. Those as a whole... So that's the report as a whole, anyway. Those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, carried. Okay. Oh, another one. Spread and hit it. Uh, so there's no no. Part